New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced he will resign from office following a scathing report from the state's attorney general concluding that the third-term Democrats sexually harassed 11 women, and in one instance, sought to retaliate against one of his accusers who went public with her allegations. The best way I can help now is if I step aside and let government get back to government and therefore, that's what I'll do," Cuomo said in remarks from the state capital of Albany on Tuesday. His lieutenant governor, Kathy Hochul, will be next in line and will be the state's first female governor. This transition must be seamless, Cuomo said, calling Hochul smart and competent. She can come up to speed quickly. Cuomo's departure from office, which will take effect in 14 days, marks a stunning turn of events from just over a year ago, when the governor was seen as a rising star in the Democratic Party for his administration's response to the coronavirus pandemic. Yet even that performance is now under a cloud of scrutiny, as a separate investigation by the attorney general found that the number of nursing home deaths disclosed by the state was far worse than officials disclosed. But it was the allegations of harassment that precipitated the once unthinkable prospect of Cuomo's resignation. The 165-page report released last week followed a months-long investigation into Cuomo's actions and outlined what New York Attorney General Letitia James called violations of both state and federal law. Prosecutors said their findings substantiated allegations from several women, allegations that included unwanted and non-consensual touching and sexual comments. This is a sad day for New York because independent investigators have concluded that Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women and, in doing so, broke the law, James said upon the report's release. No man, no matter how powerful, can be allowed to harass women or violate our human rights. Since February, at least seven women have come forward to recount unwelcome interactions with Cuomo, including several former aides. Among them is Jessica Bakeman, who said in a New York Magazine essay published in March that the governor touched her inappropriately while she was working as a statehouse reporter several years ago. Bakeman now works at an NPR member station in Florida. Her account followed claims from an unidentified aide who said Cuomo had groped her at the governor's mansion late last year. The Times Union of Albany said it spoke with someone who had direct knowledge of her allegation that the governor reached under her shirt and fondled her after she was called to his office to assist with an issue involving his phone. An attorney for the governor, Beth Garvey, said the state had an obligation to report those allegations and did so when the complainant declined to do it.